Alrighty, hello guys, and we are back for more This War of Mine. I love this game, but I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to translate to YouTube. So the first night was calm, which, you know, it that's, that's pretty common. I don't think I've ever played a game where the first night you get raided. Night 2, like, night, night 2, not day 2, but night 2, um... You can definitely get raided, but I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the first one be raided. So there are a lot of things that we need to get done. So the reason I grabbed those Rotten Tomatoes, the fertilizer, is because they can make the meat. Uh, in the traps, they can capture the rats and stuff like that. So it's really, really nice. Um, always make sure that you guys are trying to multitask your people as much as possible, moving all your people around, doing as many things in the house as you can get done because there are some days where there's so much going on and you have a lot that you need to do and you need to make sure that you actually get it done so that's always very nice um i would also suggest that you could try to get your um the stuff around the house done as soon as possible i am also upgrading the workstation so that way hopefully i can um make a hatchet sometime soon would be super super nice but i need to i need to get it upgraded first so but with that being said night two i am going to make some weapons to defend myself and i'm going to need the crowbar for later locations so that was a pretty nice box i got some books and some combustibles so you can always check your things if you weren't exactly sure what um, what you picked up. You can always click our things and, and see. <clears throat> I'm just looking to see what I need to uh, what I need to make because we do need beds. We have people complaining upstairs they need their cigarettes. The faster you can get the patches up on the walls, the more secure your base is and um, the less likely you are to get raided, and in turn, if you do get raided, uh, the less damage that you should take. Uh, this game goes off of a lot of percentages and stuff like that, so even with everything patched up, you can still get raided and you can still get hurt during the raids. Looks like dude upstairs is going to sit down and, uh, and read himself a book. Um, the days are kind of long and lots of things need to be done during them and at the beginning when you don't have everything done and stuff like that, it gets a little hard to, um, you know, to, to have it translate into YouTube. So as you can see, I jumped ahead. Nothing else happened through the rest of the day. It was literally just standing around. So I skipped ahead to the next day because we all know I'm just grabbing stuff out of boxes. And day two's night was um, calm, which is very good. I do need to make beds. Because everyone is super tired. And he is really slow, so I'm just gonna habitually click the living shit out of all of this. And I'm going to move these two into the location of where I know I'm going to be building both of the beds in attempts to maybe make them move a little bit faster. So I'm going to put the first bed down and put him on it. And then I'm going to make him come back and build another bed. And then I'm going to have her build it. So, as I said in the first episode, if you have Marin, 
build the items and place them, but not actually construct them. Um, he saves on components used, which is very extremely nice. He's always a good one to get in your inventory. So I'm just taking a quick look to see what it is that I need to grab tonight from the house to be able to upgrade this because I desperately need to be able to make the hatchet. And so we have a trader who's coming in. Um, I just recognize the guy's clothes as him being the trader, so I'm going to grab her and have her use the door and have my two most... Okay, so you want to have your two most important people, which are Marin and Marco, sleeping. Apparently I clicked Marco. So I love the traders because they can give you gun parts and they can give you combustibles and they can give you um, the water filters, which are really nice. Um, not having to use your components to build uh, the water filters is just, it's a heaven sent. So you can grab them all in and then freak out because you grab them all and you don't want them all and put them back. I love how I'm not decisive about what I want because there's a lot of things here and getting the vegetables would uh, be nice because then you can make the better food but it's not exactly needed so I think I'm gonna go with this now I should be able to make the improved workstation with this which would be very nice um so whenever you add something in and it says it's very generous of you i would always suggest that you try to remove other items to, until it says that won't do and then bring it back up to find we have a deal so that way you're not over trading um as you can see i had four in there and i only needed one so technically i would have wasted three if I had not removed them to see how far I could go. Um, yeah, wood, wood is just amazing to buy from this guy because he has all of it on his inventory and not having to bring back all those little two stacks is, is very nice. Um, so when deciding, uh, I have an extra amount of food and I have a source of food going down below. So trading food really isn't that bad here and I do know that there should be a couple of locations that are opening up on the map that should still allow me to get food from them so um when it comes to trading it's kind of a little bit having a general knowledge of what's going on in the game and like what locations give what items but at the same time it's also like just you know trying to make an educated guess on whether or not you think you're going to be okay. So whenever I dismiss the people, I always close the door. I don't know. I always found it rude to not, like, close the fucking door. <laughs> so, yeah. um, All of that is really, really, really fun. We're going to skip ahead once again through the rest of the day because nothing else happened. And we are going to see what happens in the morning. So, I should only have one night left of scavenging so that will be good we have been raided someone tried to rob us it was a band of hardened robbers but we managed to fend them off we had some weapons but not enough for anyone none of us was harmed and the attackers didn't steal anything we were able to defend ourselves and everyone is feeling better because they were super exhausted from not having a bed for the first couple of nights, which is just to be expected. So make sure, of course, that you put Marco to bed immediately. Marin has now slept through the night, and he is good to go in the morning. So now um, one of the other two can actually lay down and get some sleep, which will be nice. I am going to upgrade this station finally. So once you finally get it upgraded, you can make a hatchet, and the hatchet allows you to be able to break down the wooden objects in your home or any place that you take a hatchet to, 
and um, you get wood, you get combustibles, and you get whatever item is in the location. Though it does bug out, so I would highly suggest that you search each place that you're going to break down first before you break it down, because I have broken them down and not gotten to anything but the combustibles from the inside, so let that be a word of warning. Always, always, always loot before you break it up for combustibles. I love this game. It's a really fun game to play. I really hope that it translates well to YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this and you enjoy my other videos, please feel free to leave comments below on which videos you like and which ones you don't. And everyone that thumbs up my videos, you guys are awesome. And to that one asshole that keeps thumbing down all of my videos, you, sir, are an asshat. Yep, I said it. You're an asset. You go to each one of my videos, and I have a single thumbs down on each one of them. Congratulations. You have no life. You are just stalking my YouTube channel to thumbs down my videos. For as little amount of viewers that I get to watch my videos, the fact that I have that one person that is just so butthurt about something that he has to come to every video that I make and thumbs it down. That one little thumbs down. So we have a trader, or this might actually not be a trader. This looks like it might be a random event. So our first random event, guys. Awesome. All right, thank goodness you're here. A shell hit the tenement down the street, and people are buried beneath the rubble. Please help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some bed and some medical supplies. Will you help? And of course I said yes. Um, I had quick read through it, and once I saw that there was going to be medical beds and all that for the wounded, I figured, yep, send him right on ahead. So... You can click through and see what it is exactly that you need left to build. Um, getting the last of the patches on is really nice. Uh, having water to be able to cook the better food and just the normal food is also very, very nice. So I'm going to go with the water. Put that down right over there. I usually tend to build stuff in the same spots. Now there are a couple of different house layouts that you can do, um, that you can, that you can do, that you can get. Uh, this is the most common one, but there is another type that has different room placements. So keep in mind that because we sent one of them away, that we are now minus a person to be able to do the things that you need to do. Um, and I've already made the hatchet, so cutting down all of this stuff is really good. Oh, I forgot to, to scavenge the first pile. But that's fine. Um, just make sure to remember that whenever you click on someone to do a task and you only have one of that tool, um, it's going to stop the other person from doing it. And you're actually going to see it here in a second. Um, I'm really glad that combustibles and wood drop whenever you break something down inside of your base. The filters only make one at a time you can't actually double them up like you can with some of the other like stations like the herb station stuff like that you can actually double triple quadruple you can add as many to the lineup as you want now it takes longer but at least um you'll have multiples when it's done you can't do that with the with the water filter so this is what I was saying earlier, that if you only have one tool and you send someone to do something, it'll stop them. So I sent Marin to go to the treehouse to use the hatchet, and he stopped because I had just sent Marco to go upstairs to the top floor to break down the cabinets. So keep that in mind. Um, if someone's using a tool, it's going to stop the other person from being able to use the tool. So wait for the one person to do their thing and then send the other guy back. Being able to get 10 wood from one little pile here at your house is amazingly awesome. Um, not entirely sure why he stopped that time though, because 
I wasn't having him use the tool. Guys, please do not break apart your beds. Uh, it doesn't really, I guess it, in the end, it doesn't matter if you break down the chair. Uh, it's a comfort value, so I wouldn't really suggest it, but I, it's not really a bad thing. Oops, I clicked her. Um, it's not really a bad thing if you do break down the chair, but if you break down your beds, that's going to be bad because then you're going to have to rebuild your bed, and you need beds. So just don't don't fumble one day and forget and end up breaking your better part with your hatchet that that will not be fun uh keep in mind you can take your hatchet to other locations as well and break down the stuff there and bring it back with you the wood will be hard to bring back um but the combustibles that's like those are invaluable during winter you need like six of them to be able to fill one of the heaters and usually it takes about two heaters to survive winter so, uh, I like to quick click through everything and just kind of see what components I need, usually right when the clock starts ticking for the next day, or for the next night to start, so that way I can just see what I need, and if there's anything that I might be able to make at the last second, I might actually be able to do that. So, as I had said earlier, this was the last night for scavenging of this location which means that the next episode that i put out i will actually be going to a brand new location um if you guys liked the videos let me know down below in the comments if you have any suggestions on how to do this so that maybe it would be a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch that would also be super super awesome of you guys so thank you to you know all of that and uh, all of you for coming out and watching my videos. And for the love of God, I have no idea why I did not just click grab all. Instead, I sit here and I drag each individual thing over. So that's a good, good way to end the video on a fail note. But with that being said, guys, this location number one is 100% cleared out which means that it brought, draws us to the end of this video. So, as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and next time we will find out what happened on the morning of day five. See you next time, guys.